Okay. <laughs> Must grill here on Friday afternoon. I run across this recipe by Michael Simon. I, I didn't see him cook it. I wish I had. But he's been a food chef out there for a while. He's also one of those, I forgot what they call it, uh, where there's a competition all the time on the Food Network. Anyway, I'm going through the, the Food Channel and found this recipe. And this dog has been begging for something, but she ain't getting it. So anyway, this recipe calls for, let's see here, i move around here. It's got beef, beef short ribs, salt and pepper, celery, car carrots, large onions, tomato paste, thyme, anchovy, one bay leaf, one head of garlic, uh, chicken broth, dry wine, dry, dry red wine, and uh, we're just going to pour all that into this. First we're going to brown these things in that casserole right there, and then we're going to pull them out and roast these vegetables in here on that and then fill it up with chicken stock and wine, and then we're going to braise them for three hours. All right, all that said and done. We'll be back. Okay, I've seasoned these with a good amount of salt and pepper. I'm gonna put them in this pan here under medium high heat and uh, just kind of brown them. I got I'm doing one at a time. Then I'm gonna stack them up, add the vegetables, the wine, and everything else, tomato paste, thyme, and all that. And then we're gonna cook them for one hour at 325, and then we're gonna reduce that to two. 225 and cook it for three hours. All right, that's it. See it starting to snap, crackle, and pop. We'll be back. Okay, here's a half of them that are brown, and here's the other half. So I'll brown, brown these up to look like them, lay them on some. We'll add all these vegetables in here plus the garlic. I got to do a little bit of garlic. I'm just trading out the meat right now. We'll put all the juice in there and everything, and uh, we'll braise them. Then we'll be back. These things should be yummy. All right. Okay, I got all that braised off now, or browned off here. Inside this hot pot, I'm going to add the the thyme, anchovies, about four, five, six, seven cloves of garlic, a couple cups of wine, got the chicken broth, got these vegetables we're going to throw in here right now. Alright, there's the vegetables. going to get them in there. I'm going to just toss them around in here, let them cook for a few minutes, about, I don't know, maybe five or six minutes, get them kind of soft. Then I'm going to add the rest of this stuff all over here. This big ass mess I made. <laughs> oh, my wife, I'm glad she's not here. She, ah, she don't ever say nothing. I don't think she cares. I've always cleaned it up. Anyway, we're going to cook these vegetables, put the rest of it in, all that, tomato paste, chicken broth, wine, that aromatics there. We'll be back. It's a great day. Okay, I've added about I don't know, four ounces of, of tomato paste. So what you do is you just stir this around until it gets all good and coated in there. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to start to get glossy here in a few minutes. Probably about two or two, three minutes. It'll start to gloss up. Then I'm going to add the garlic and, the, and these aromatics here plus the anchovies. I'm going to add them and let them cook about one minute. And then I'm going to put in the chicken broth another minute and then put in the wine. And the bay leaf, which is right there, put the bay leaf in there, put them ribs back in there, throw them in that oven for about an hour, and then reduce the heat for for, for about four hours, three hours. All right. See, it's starting to shine there. I think I got that thing shine. All right. We'll be back. Okay. okay. I've added the thyme, the anchovies, the bay leaf, and the garlic. I'm just going to leave this stuff whole because you need to have to strain it out all once this is, once this is cooked over. You have to strain all these vegetables and these aromatics out. That's why you leave them in big pieces. Then I'm going to let this sit in here a little bit. Look at that. Look at that good golden crust and stuff right there. All right. Then we're going to... Uh, let's go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to add the chicken broth. I will add about, I don't know, just enough to cover these vegetables and aromatics. It calls for... calls The recipe calls for about two quarts, but you know, I, don't, I, I don't have as much ribs as what they call for in this in that that cook, cook cook show recipe. So anyway, there we go. That's about enough to cover it up. Now, oh, look at that. That's already looking good. Looks like a big old nice vegetable tomato soup. Let's scrape all that, ch that charred goodness off this thing. Ooh, I got to do a little bit more. What the heck? All right. Now, 
going to add, oh, maybe a cup of this, this red wine here. Maybe two cups. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you think starts looking good. Look at there. Oh, my goodness. I wish you could smell it. Gosh. Anyway, I'm using that some Beaujolais here that we had left over from last night. So, it's called for a dry red wine. This ain't quite as dry, but it don't really matter, folks. If you're going to drink it, you can cook with it. Anyway, there we go. Now, I'm going to put them ribs in there, put them in the oven. I'm going to check my sweetness and everything, salt and pepper, and adjust, and we'll be back. Okay. If you want this recipe, you can go to cooking.com, the cooking channel, not the food, food Network, but the cooking channel, owned by the Food Network, and look up Braised Short Ribs by Michael Simon. They are delicious. Absolutely. Anyway, I've never cooked them before, but I just read the recipe and I know it was delicious. And it, they, these things are going to be great. All right. Besides, I like the way he cooks too. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. Okay, okay. You see here, I got. There's probably the thing called for six pounds of ribs. There's probably four, four and a half pounds in here. I didn't look at the weight thing, but it's not near six. So I've got it. Got it. Bringing it back to a boil. What we do is we're gonna put this. Put this. Pan on this. This is this is a La Crusette braising thing. I, mean, I could probably use the bigger ones. The only one I got. I'd like to have another, one, but they're darned expensive. So anyway, I'm gonna put this in that oven that's at 325 degrees for one hour. Then I'm gonna drop it down to 225 and let it cook for three. What you're supposed to do? You're supposed to let this you drain strain the vegetables and aromatics out of it. Turn the sauce, turn the ribs back to the pan, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit overnight, and that's to let everything melt. Well, I can't wait that long, because I am going to be hungry about 6 o'clock, 6.30, and I'm going to want to eat, if you know what I mean. So, we'll eat the rest of them tomorrow. We eat what we do tonight, and then we eat the rest of them tomorrow. And I'm making a uh, spinach orange with a bacon dressing salad tonight with roasted pignolis. You know what that is? Those pine nuts. Anyway, uh, we'll be back. See you in a couple hours. Okay. It's been in there for one hour at 325. Actually, I've got a convection oven, so I cooked it at 350. It's just bubbling away. Now, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I, I, yeah. And the smell. Ah, Lord have mercy. Folks, I'm telling you what. This, this, is, this is delicious looking. Delicious smell. My mouth is, is watering. I mean, it, it is. It's like old Guy Fieri says, there's a Niagara Falls in my mouth right now. Anyway, uh, we're going to push this up now. We dropped the, I dropped the oven temperature down. I got a convection. I dropped it down to 200. If you got a regular oven, drop it down to 225. And then I'm going to cook it for another three hours. Look at this. It is wonderful. It smells good, too. See? Hear that? It smells yummy. It smells yummy. All right. We'll be back. Okay, here we go. We got these ribs and that, that orange salad over there. There's Miss D's. Yep, we're going to be there. All right, this is it for tonight. We're going to pray, have a good time, and eat this wonderful food, tangerine salad. We'll be back. Oh, goodness, I'm back now. I want you to look. This This is braising liquid when we've got all of the oh my goodness look at this these are absolutely wonderful we got the braising liquid in here I've I already removed all of the uh, of the uh, aromatics and the vegetables now the only thing that's left is making that orange look at there making that orange spinach salad with the bacon grease and the orange vinaigrette. All right. We'll be back. This thing, like we said, will keep it warm for a while. All right. We'll be back. Okay. Here we are. We've eaten all the ribs. This is this is just stuff that's left over. Some leftover bones. Look at that. All right. Now. There's that dog. Look at this. That's a salad. Wow, what a mess. Yeah, it is a mess, but how good was it, baby? Delicious. It was delicious. Look at that. It's all done. It's a short weekend to the new year. All right.
Oh, look at her. Alright, we'll be back. Okay. My lovely assistant there said, how good was this? Wowie, zowie. <laughs> that was wowie, zowie. Oh my lord, mm -hmm. it was. It was absolutely delicious. Goodbye. We had we had the salad with the pignolis and uh, tangerines and uh, everything. Oh goodness gracious, it was unbelievably good. I thought we'd have leftover for tomorrow, but, but no, look at that. it's not enough. Two little old pieces of rib meat. Enough for the dog. Yes, enough <laughs> for the dog. All right. Y'all have a good evening. We'll good, be back. Good New Year.